I guess I'd say, you know, we're lucky that um, unions, through their membership, and through the dues that um, their membership pay, uh, we do have some, we do have resources. And um, so we're able to hire excellent people such as Monica, and we're able to appear in front of parliamentary committees. We're able to put advertising in newspapers. We're, we're, we're able to do a lot of things, thanks to the membership who trust us with some of their <coughs> paycheck. Um, but without that, who's going to speak? Who's speaking about this? Who, who is going to be able to have those kind of resources? Because I can tell you, uh, Lise and Arnold, we've been in front of the CRTC numerous times on numerous issues. And it is essentially only the unions and the guilds that are there and have the wherewithal to come and speak in front of an agency that supposedly should be balancing public interest versus corporate interest. Um, uh, that's not a promotion for, for, for unions, it's to say without them, we're in serious trouble. Because there isn't, there isn't, a, there isn't anybody there speaking on behalf of Canadians and the need to have a democratic media. I just want to say this, is that um, the issue is critical for us if we are going to uh, maintain a democratic society. We have to have diversity in media. We have to be able to have, in my view, the National Post versus the Toronto Star. We have to have different views so that we can make choices, so that we can say, uh, well, I agree with them on this side, or if we have just one story being told, and this is always criticism of the CBC, it just kills me. Corporate media is this big and the CBC is this big and they sort of suggest that somehow the CBC is, uh, is dictating the agenda for the country. But if we just have uh, one voice, we have a serious, serious problem. And as you can see from the graph that Mon just put out, Shaw is going to have over 30% of broadcasting in this country. That's, that's getting very dangerous, folks. Um, because if we don't have choice, we don't have democracy. And in order to have choice, we have to have information. Because the last thing that we do, to get back to Neil Postman, the last thing that we have, our last sort of vestige of activism, is to be able to vote, and to be able to vote on information. And that information has got to come from the media. Um, there's a lot of things, there's a lot of things to say here, and a lot of, and a great deal of information, that I'm much more inclined to hear uh, your questions, actually. I, uh, I don't get a chance um, to speak to folks in the academic community that much, and uh, so I'm much more interested to hear what you have to say. Thanks for your attention.